welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Lita Curia and welcome to my channel so today I am bringing you a no makeup makeup look I've been inspired by Miss Daisy Marquez to do this video loved her video I actually took some of her ideas tried it out for a couple of weeks and I loved it girl today your girl is not gonna use makeup like that we're gonna show you how to finesse still look good without wearing a huge amount of makeup Alright guys, so before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notifications on so you can be notified when I post. I post every Sunday and every Wednesday. I post beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. Super excited. Let's get into the video. Right, guys, so I have all of the, I was going to say the ingredients. I have all of my products that I use um, for this look. I am going to start off with skincare because skincare is always important for any makeup look. Without a clean base, you are not going to have a good outcome of your look. So first, as I told you guys, I always tell you guys this, I love this rose water. Moisturizes your face without even moist using moisturizer. So I'm just gonna spray that first and it literally smells so good. All right guys, the next thing that I use, which I received in my BoxyCharm, this, I don't know how to pronounce this. I think it's 111 skin or it's 111 skin now. Oh Ow. It's this 111 Skin um, Pollution Defense Booster. I have been loving this. I got this in my BoxyCharm, and I also put it in my August Favorites video. Um, if you guys have not watched that, go watch some of my favorite beauty products for August. I'll leave it here. This is on the pricey side. I actually, on my BoxyCharm, it said this was $135. So I was like, whoa. It feels so good on your skin. It has brightened my face so much i used to be combination skin but now i'm definitely more towards the drier side so this has been helping a lot I just go ahead and use my moisturizer as a primer anyway this is the kylie skin face moisturizer it's a hydrating one so perfect for dry or combination skin i didn't know how i was going to feel about this moisturizer especially because it's kind of pricey i would just rather buy some moisturizer from you know cvs or something but it was on sale when i got it and the bad thing is now that i actually love it love the combination i've been using all right guys so now we are going to move on to the eyebrows so i saw this on daisy marquez's no makeup makeup video so if you guys know the laminated brows has been a huge thing right now but it's so much to get your brows laminated and what the lamination does it gives your brows pigment and it gives you like that feathery brow type of look i am not gonna get my brows laminated because one i do not need pigment on my brows my brows are black i just want that feathery look in a way or like that not bushy brow but bushy clean brow no i don't know how to explain it so basically guys, Daisy bought this got to be glued sty styling spiking glue. It's water resistant. So this is what she uses. Um, and then you have to have like a little spoolie. I'm just using it from my e.l.f. pencil. This is what she uses to like keep the hairs up. So I have some of the glue on the spoolie. Excuse my skin, it's getting back to normal. I'm just going to use that and brush my hairs up. I just brush it upwards towards the end of the brows. Now y'all, I'm just going to grab whatever little hairs I don't like. I'm just going to put them down. Like people literally pay $300 to do this to their brows and I'm like, I have thick brows, let me just take advantage. <laughs> All right guys, so now that I got my brows in place, I'm just gonna wait for it to dry. I'm just gonna take the Born This Way concealer. This is like my darker concealer that kind of can play in as my foundation. I definitely like to put it in the inner corner just so it can brighten up a little. I also like to put it on this area of my cheek slash nose because I get so red here. I'll just put some on my acne, red spots. I'm not going to put it down here just because uh, I'm still waiting for that to heal. And then I'm going to take like this flat brush. This is the Morphe G6 brush. I'm just going to go and slightly tap that in. I'm not going to like drag it. I'm just going to tap in like if it was a beauty blender. Guys, this concealer is starting to look light for me too. Now I'm just going to go in with my Fit Me powder. All right, guys, so now that my brows have dried, I'm just going to take this Glossier um, Boy Brow. Just It gives me a little bit of tint, um, and I'm just going to put it in the spots of my brows that I feel like 
there's not a lot of hair. <laughs> Guys, so next I'm gonna take my blush and highlighting sticks from the Kylie Kendall Cosmetics collab. I did not say that right. <laughs> But so you guys know what I mean. I'm going to be taking their blush and highlighting trio. You guys don't, again, have to use these certain products. You guys can use anything. Like I know I have many other like affordable blush sticks that would look bomb. I like to put some on my nose. Then just spread it a little bit on my forehead. Next, I'm just going to take the highlighting stick. This is so buttery, y'all. If you guys have seen my Kendall Kylie review thing this is one of my favorite products next guys i literally just do my mascara like curling i press it 10 times 10 times before and 10 times after first mascara i like to go in is with the urban decay perversion i like to focus more on the top of my lashes because i want that part to be lifted um if i put too much at the bottom it's just gonna be too heavy it's gonna carry my lashes down and the same thing to the next one while i wait for that to dry i'm gonna do the bottom i feel like everybody makes a weird face when they do mascara now that those have dried i'm gonna go in with the l'oreal vol voluminous voluminous um with the curved brush i have loved this mascara since high school i'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing sorry guys there's construction next door but this time I'm using the curved brush to just curve my lashes up. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use the curved side to do my bottom. While I wait for those to dry before I curl them again, I'm just gonna go in with some chapstick. I don't really like to use um, lipstick, all that. I'm gonna go ahead. This is the um, Sky Organics. I've talked about this in my vlogs too. This is the Sky Organics chapstick um, in Tropical Coconut go and put that all over my lip oh my god it smells so good now i'm gonna go back and curl my lashes 10 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right guys so that is all for my no makeup makeup look it kind of looks like i added like a natural glam to me but i didn't use foundation i didn't use contour anything. but yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this look this is how i do my no makeup look please if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment subscribe turn your post notifications on so you can be notified when i post new videos i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i love you guys so much subscribe y'all join the fam and i'll see you guys in the next one